if you are searching for a live database search code or if you need a source code for live database search in your select box so i will explain this code or i will teach you how to set or how to set up your search box with live database search so in this video we will use select to js and set up your live database search by using select to js and ajax call so see this video till the end and you can also set this code in your website or in your project easily so before going for coding let's check the output first here i create one demo for you so you will get idea how live search will work so here some bank list are there suppose i click on this search box and i write something inside this select box that will be live searching from the database suppose i search a central bank so that central well i type here inside the select box that data get from the database live suppose here i type something like this so that type of data will get from the database live so how is it possible or how we will create this type of select box or live search box by using php or jquery so here you need to simply you need to include this script into your page simple jquery.min.js now you need to go your project or simply you need to create one file here so here i create one file to get the data from the database you also need to create one file here i create one file like this so i simply include this file jquery.min.js now you simply follow this blog right and second one is you need to include this select to min.css and select to min.js file i also included those file into your my page now step 3 is what you need to create one select box right i also here you can see i also create one select box but here you must have to remember you need to provide one id and name here i provide the id is equal to search underscore bank list now step 4 is what you need to write one script tag inside the script tag you need to write this code i also explain this code I also copy paste this code in my page so here this id will declare here so whenever you searching anything inside the select box at that time this select to will call and inside the select to i create one ajax block so here we create one ajax block by using this ajax block we get the data from the database so here you can see we have a pass one url this is a coding letter framework url if you are using simple php then you need to simply write one file like get a data dot php but here we are using a coding letter that's why we are writing this url now here you can see this function will call and that function will be get data from the database now here you can see simply if you are using simple php then you can write a dollar underscore post but here we are using a coding letter framework that's why we are use this input post now simply search term what is the search term whatever you are searching whatever you are searching inside the select box like suppose i write this that that is your search term 
so in our coding you can see we have pass param dot tom it means that searching data will store inside this one variable so that variable we can use inside our model file or into your web service file so whatever you are searching will store inside the one variable now that searchable text we check in our query so whatever you write a query pass this searching text into your query now simply this query will return some result now we need to return result pass into this array like this format here you can see we need to pass id and text you don't need to change or don't change this id and text you can change this attribute only here you can see id is this and bank is this so you don't need to change id and text because this will be fixed in this now here you can see we need to pass array in this format here we need to pass id and text so in this id we can pass the simply id and inside the text we have pass bank now this array will be returned into the json format now whenever you are searching like we can see in our network now here you can see whenever i type something inside my search box at that time that data will return or that response return in json format here you can see the id and text id and text that will that response we need to return in our ajax block so here whenever you return your array into the json encode format you must have to remember this format right id and text you must have to write or that json will be processed inside our this block process results so this response will be passed into this results so simply this code will be work so this is how our searching will work so if you have any query while setting this live search so please comment me or if you have any question regarding this ajax live search or if you are using a php coding editor or laravel you must have to remember this block very useful so if you are using a simple php coding editor or any framework you must have to write this ajax block and simply whenever you return your data into the json encode format then you must have to pass this simple array so how was this video and please comment us and we are made so many video like this and we have so many solution in our website or in our youtube channel so please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you are subscribe our channel and definitely you will get so many solution regarding this web development and application development and also you will get so many knowledge i hope ki you will subscribe our channel and also see here so many blog we have created or we have provide so many solution for you so please connecting with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for watching